Well, Jeff, first of all, thanks for joining us as Burnett delivers to Young, who walked and stole second his first time up. Now, Jeff, the Pirates announced before the game that you will not make your scheduled start tomorrow against the Mets due to back tightness, and you will not pitch in the All-Star game. However, you will still go and take part in all the festivities. So how excited are you? Oh, I'm very excited. You know, it's a great opportunity, uh, you know, for me to uh, get out there and meet some of those guys and, uh, you know, just have some fun. It's going to be a good time. Hey, Jeff, I, I know you're excited about being there and, and we'll enjoy that. But also on the other side of it, how disappointed are you that you won't be able to maybe get an inning in? Uh, you know, it's kind of disappointing at first, but um, I'll tell you what, my main focus is here with these guys. And, uh, you know, if I can't go out there and pitch for them tomorrow, I, I got no part being in that All-Star game. You were selected by Bruce Bochy as one of the manager's picks. What was your initial reaction when you heard the news? Uh, I didn't know what the manager's pick was. I don't know if that was a good <laughs> thing, if that was Clint Hurdle's decision. Uh, but come to find out from uh, the guys telling me, it's it's an honor, you know. So uh, especially I didn't even pitch against those guys this year. So maybe uh, word spread a little bit, but I was very happy that, uh, you know, Bruce grabbed me and um, I'm just honored. Now you were the Pirates minor league pitcher of the year last season. You made six starts with the Pirates, but in your wildest dreams, back in spring training in March, could you have imagined heading to City Field for the All-Star game? <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, it's definitely not something I set a goal to when the season started. I just wanted to, to get that, that fifth spot in the rotation and hang with it as long as I could. You know, anytime you, you break camp, barely getting in, you know that, you know, especially with the rotation we have that's it's been on the shelf so far, uh, any, anything can happen. Those guys can come back and, uh, you know, kind of push you right back out. So. Like I've told everybody, I'll continue to pitch like I'm the five guy, like I'm protecting my job. Well, well Jeff, you're certainly not pitching like a five guy with uh, the win loss and the ERA, but talk a little bit about the, the staff in its uh, entirety. Here you guys are leading all of baseball in three key categories in pitching. Yeah, it's uh, it's another honor to be a part of something like that. Um, you know, to come to work every single day and watch these guys go to work and the kind of experience I've gained from uh, AJ and, and Liriano and, and you know, Wandy. You know, we got Morton back, we got Garrett Cole up here now. Um, pretty star-studded team, and, and you got to like to just be a part of it. And talk a little bit more about the work uh, part of it, because Clint Hurdle was telling us about A.J. Burnett. He does his thing on the mound for sure, but really works hard and probably sets the tempo for the entire staff. Absolutely. You know, A.J. does so much more uh, than just what's on the field for this team and for the whole organization. And, um, and I wasn't sure what we were going to get when I first met AJ. You know, he throws his tattoos at you, kind of his demeanor. You don't really know if you should talk to him or not, or wait till he comes and talks to you. But I'll tell you what, um, guy's got a heart of gold to do anything to help you. It's been a pleasure of mine this year just to, to get to know somebody like that and have him help me out in my season. Yeah, the Murphy flies out to the center fielder after the country. So, so AJ does talk back when you speak to him, Jeff? <laughs> yeah, he's starting to warm up now. Now we hear the booze once again for David Wright, and it's been well documented. The uh, home run derby, the initial non-selection of Pedro Alvarez, but I'm sure you're excited to watch uh, Pedro on Monday night along with some of the other big home run hitters in Major League Baseball. Yeah, I mean, anyone that's seen Pedro Alvarez hit a baseball before, you can't tell me you're not excited to see him do it uh, on a stage like that right in his backyard. It should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I know, especially he gets to come there and represent this team. Uh, that's one thing I'm sure he's the proudest about, and uh, you know we're all very excited for him. Right, called out on strikes his first time up. Two outs, top of the third inning as we chat with Pirates All-Star pitcher Jeff Locke. Right falls behind, nothing in two. Jeff originally drafted by the Braves, and I, I know you spent some time with John Smoltz and some of the other alumni. What did you learn from those guys? <laughs> How to golf. <laughs> um, you know, John used to come to our spring trainings all the time and, and speak with the younger guys, and uh, you know, just having a presence like that around camp and, and just saying, you know, this is um, this is what I do to get ready. This is the kind of things I go about every day, and uh, you know, that's the kind of guy when you were over there, you just wanted to idolize him. Everything he did, uh, you wanted to go do. You know, I had an opportunity to pitch with him uh, in Low A Rome one time when he was on some rehab starts, and um, you know, just an honor to be around someone like that. We saw a couple of fun facts. Grew up in New Hampshire. Not too many major leaguers come from your home state. I guess Chris Carpenter, Sam Fold, Brian Wilson. How well do you know some of those guys? Uh, there's a New Hampshire baseball dinner every November, and uh, they try to get those guys in. Chris Carpenter's had a lot to do with it over the years. Uh, so I've, I've, got to, I've known him since I was about eight years old. Uh, it's a little different now going there as a, uh, as a fan versus going there as a player, a guest of honor. But uh, it's been great. 